Hello guys and welcome to my next episode of my Space Engineers solo Let's Play series. And uh, oh, well, well, holy cow, oh I think we need to turn down the gyroscopes man, it's going to make me sick. Let's see, power 60%, 60% on gyroscopes that are overpowered seems to be pretty good for me. That's medium cargo container. All right. Let's see if that'll be enough. Because this thing spins like a top. Yeah, that's enough. Alright. I didn't notice this before, but... Our basement seems to... Seems to, um... <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think I found our basement. Oop, look at that crazy save. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the entrance doesn't seem as big as I want it to be, but uh, this could be our new hangers, boys and girls. Our new hangers, excuse me. That looks very, very criminal hideout-ish. <laughs> and it's very square, and it's fairly straight. That's not bad. All right, so we're gonna go check out some stuff at some asteroids. Let's see what we can find. And I'm not talking about no nearby asteroids. I'm talking about off in the distance type asteroids. Let's go check this one out. Holy Toledo, this is not a fast craft. But it's better than a kick in the pants, right? So we still got a bookmark to our home, so we'll be okay when we, you know, leaving and stuff. Let's just head up this way. Usually it's a rule of thumb to not mine at your own home, home asteroid anyways. So, be yeah, it's probably a good idea that we go over here anyways might be able to find something neat. They use uh, procedurally generated asteroids in this game, in case you didn't know. And uh, for some reason, they all come out to look like danishes and donuts. <laughs> well, not da long stick like danishes, but you know what I mean. Pretty interesting. It gets very repetitive. Danishes, donuts, and golf balls that have been scared. <laughs> Instead of dimples, they have spikes on them. What's that off in the distance? Are those asteroids? I checked my settings and I realized that I have exploration installed, which could be a lag fest. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have my dampeners on. See, it's still overloaded. It overloads when I turn. I think that means that we're going to be putting another generator in on this thing. What was I looking at before? Wasn't there was there was something over? Is that Oh, over there. It looks like asteroids. All right. Ooh. It's freaking. You know those gyroscopes are There's some ice. Is there anything else special at this thing? Ooh. You know, I was thinking, I, we really could use iron. <laughs> Even though every asteroid is completely full of it. That's a good thing. Because that means we can get it almost anywhere. But we also need ice for oxygen. So I'm going to make sure that we... Uh, Ooh, that world safe that we get some of this ice now when you're mining ice in a, something that has an oxygen generator it's going to pull it into the oxygen generator when you mine it uh, it won't fill up the oxygen generator completely I don't think 
Um, I've had that experience in the past, and that's reason. The reason being for that is so it can pull in bottles that need to be refilled, and it will refill them. If you set it to refill, which is here, oxygen generator auto refill. But it's always a good idea to have a nice, healthy stock of ice, especially if you are compressing your base, um, because people make mistakes, and there's lakes, and you, you end up venting your atmosphere to space, or something like that. So it's always a good idea to have a nice sized oxygen tank at your base, full of a what I would call a buffer, or just a little nut you have saved away for uh, for a rainy day. If you mine, if you know, if you mine a whole ton of ice all at once, oh look at that world save. <laughs> Oh, there's uranium over there. That we could definitely use. Oh, never have enough uranium. Um, if you mine a ton of ice all at once, you can actually, if you're efficient enough, you can process it all and get it at all, all into tanks and store it up, and then you can wait a decent amount of time to mine again. I've gotten to a point in my solo survival where I don't really mind that much. I don't. I'm getting a lot of stuttering here. What is with that? My, oh, my frame rate. Oh, mining drops my frame rate. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, and there's another bug that when you do mine, let's check our, whoops, let's check our inventory. 21,000. It's not bad. When you do mine, it uh, and then you fly away from the asteroid, it can cause a tremendous amount of stuttering, debilitating lag on the game, and um, you can get around that by using uh, gravity miner and then picking up all the asteroids because they fall back to the astro, you know, to the gravity field, or. Um, using more efficient miners. I think like large miners don't do that. Um, they don't kick out as many asteroids. I think also mining outside, on the outside of an asteroid like I am now, I think that also prevents that. Um, although I do, I am seeing some lag. And I'm sure that's because the particles flying all over the place, but um, also uh, if that does occur, you can just restart the game. Um, and that'll fix it. But setting your floating particles, your, your trash, really low, like cripplingly low, so you basically have nothing floating in space, also I think will fix it. But I haven't tried that because particles in space allow you to retrieve things. If you're building, if you're grinding something and, and it drops something on the, on the ground, there's always a danger that that, that will disappear because you're part of your entities in space or whatever it is in your trash removal or set it'll just delete it so uh, I'm uh I can't call myself the brightest guy in the bunch but uh sometimes I forget things and I you know I will I'll lose stuff by doing that <laughs> I've lost entire capital ships I've made before so uh, yeah trash removal and all that stuff sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't Especially on multiplayer. Multiplayer uh, servers get very laggy very fast. And um, it's also not helped by the uh, preference of mods. A lot of people like to use a lot of mods on multiplayer because that's what they use in their solo game. And they think it's going to perform the same, but it's really not. It's not at all. Making a nice. Looks like we're making a nice uh, size dent in this asteroid here. Just getting some ice. We'll get a healthy little chunk and uh, try to try to get some uh, something to back us up at the base. You know, just a little little storage. Um, some of you may have noticed that when I did my my conveyor sorters, that I didn't put a conveyor sorter on the 
on the conveyor that my miner connects to to pull the ore in. And the reason why I don't do that is because I like to leave some ice in my in my miner so I have oxygen while I'm mining and I can sit out here for a while. Um, and if I just blindly did that, it would uh, pull it in. But you'll see later on I'm gonna be I'm going to be putting one on there to pull the ore in, but I'm I'm going to be strictly in the filter, the whitelist filter, I'm going in I'm going to be naming the actual ores I want to pull in that way I can say oh yeah pull in all ores except for ice and then I'd ha I would have to uh, manually introduce ice into the system of the base after I do that but um, it'd be nice if you could say pull in all ores except for 2,000 2, of each or, you know, or 2,000 of this type I'll be honest though, it's it's a nice little system and I'm sure there are ways to work around it and stuff, but it's a nice little nice little doodad. Alright, so now we're getting some stone, which isn't too bad because stone is useful as far as making gravel and then uh reactor components. But we're half full in our rea in our oxygen generator. And that's way more than we're ever gonna need. So that'll supply us with a little nest egg of ice back at base. So let's take off from here and turn off our things and see if we can't go around the corner and pick up some uran uranium at the corner store. And I just lost it. Where'd it go? Ooh. Who knows where it went? All right. Um. Let's move away and see. What, what, there was a hole in this asteroid, wasn't there? <laughs> let's look for the hole. Saw the uranium again on, for a second there. I bet you it's inside the loop of the asteroid. So we'll go in there and look. Look at that overload. Darn it. And there's a cavern, so we should have access to the uranium. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of uranium in here. Wow, this is a nice uranium mine. I think what we're going to do is GPS it. In case you guys haven't used GPS before, this is GPS. New from current position. Uranium mine. And that way we know whenever we want to mine a significant portion of uranium, or significant helping of uranium, we can always come here and there'll be plenty. It won't be exhausted after one trip. I tend to tag all my asteroids, but having all the GPS up on your HUD can clutter up your HUD really fast. If you've noticed, I've only got a couple things up here. But, I mean, it can hide where you're going, you know, what you're looking at. It's a real big pain. I guess we can turn that back on. So we'll just mine some of this uranium for a while and bring it back and process it. The more uranium you have, the more you can do. Most of these small ships really don't take a lot of uranium. Like you'll, you, you probably saw that I've only put two uranium about in each one of the reactors on this small ship, and that's, I mean, small reactors are incredibly efficient. It seems like, whereas the large reactors just kind of try to chug down as much uranium as they can and just give you uh, not enough power. Ooh, I'm getting jumpy here. What's that about? I'll have to go back and check the recording, make sure that I'm coming out smooth to you guys. Either that or I might just have to not publish my mining trip. If it comes out jumpy or messed up, I don't want you guys to have to sit through a horrible quality video. That being said, I think I'm going to finish mining off camera and I'll meet you guys back at base. 
So that'll end this episode, uh, coming up on 15 minutes. So do me a favor, uh, comment and like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes.